What's up everyone and welcome back to week two of my new vlog series. I am about to run out the door to go to my hairdresser. Before I leave, I wanna talk skincare. Now that I get a little bit closer, <laughs> yeah, it's bad, it's bad. I am a total hypocrite with everything I'm about to tell you right now because I did the total opposite last night. I'm suffering from a really bad hormonal breakout and with that comes deep cystic acne for me, which just has a lot of pressure and pain. I can't sleep on my side, it's just rough. So I did what you're not supposed to do and I popped a pimple last night, which led to me popping like 10 more. Dumb, so dumb. And then to overcompensate for the damage I already did, I triple cleansed. So if you're not familiar with double cleansing and you wanna see a video on that and see how I do it, um, I definitely can do that for you, but pretty much I went in and cleansed my face with two different oils. And then I went in with an acne cleanser, which is obviously harsher to just flush out your skin. So I went to bed last night with extremely stripped, irritated, red, tight skin. I just, I just attacked my face last night. I know better, I should be doing better, but I know we've all been there where you just pop one and then you see so many more and then you're trying to make up for all the damage you just did so you do more damage. So this morning we're starting fresh. We are starting fresh this morning and hopefully I can take you guys from today, which is Tuesday morning to Sunday night, I guess, and just show you guys how I fix this. So this morning I woke up and I just did a gentle cleanse, nothing serious, like super light hands for 60 seconds. I went in with a sunscreen, a moisturizer, and an eye cream. That's it. Super, super simple. Because I just did so much damage to my skin, I need to back the fuck off. Like, I need to just step away from the product, stop overwhelming my skin, and let my skin fix itself. So the other thing that I signed up for yesterday was a food allergy test and it basically tests for 800 different foods. And I feel like this is super important because maybe if you don't have an allergy, you probably have an intolerance or a sensitivity to some foods which can hurt your skin. Basically, if your body, your intestines, your gut does not like these items that you are putting into your body, it comes out in your skin. So I'm gonna be taking that. I definitely won't have the results back for you guys in this video. Um, I still need to clip some hair, send it in, get the results back. So that will not be in this vlog, but I just wanna let you know I am doing it. If you are interested in something like that, I will leave it in the description box. I did the one person test uh, for 800 food items for $90, but it's actually on sale right now for the month of June. So I think I only paid 50. I think it was like 35% off or something. I just don't want to be eating the wrong things anymore. So that's a little update. Let's go to the hair salon. I'm. It feels so good to have my hair done. So I just wanted to talk through what I asked for and what we basically did. So I asked for some like halo pieces. That means that they basically just frame the face. She did a root melt just so everything looks lived in. I also wanted it that if I pulled it back, there's some color that shines through. It's not just a harsh brown and then like a blonde ponytail. I don't like that. I also typically only get longer layers. That's just how I like it for when I curl my hair and when I blow dry it. But because I've lost a lot of hair in here after the miscarriage, I wanted to get some pieces. Let me see if I <laughs> get some pieces that if I put my hair in a ponytail, these just hang down. So they'll cover those spots on the side of my forehead where I really lost a lot of hair and just looks a lot more put together. Like look at that color. The back was also starting to turn into a point so she really switched that up. I'm just super happy with it. I'm always happy with my hair with her. Very, very happy. Thank you, Lindsay, love you. I am so over the moon happy to be sitting outside of my nail salon right now. I drive 20 minutes to beautiful New Bedford, Massachusetts for my nail girl. I've been with her for over two years. She used to be right next to my house. 
and then she moved so I go where she goes Nika is my favorite I am going to do a full set just my nails are all different lengths and shapes and like chipped so I'm gonna put tips on just so I have a little bit a little bit of like a nail I love the clicking I love that definitely getting a pedicure I'm just so excited but yeah today what did I do today I cleaned the hell out of the house I vacuumed the house I washed all the floors I did the counters put dishes away um I sold a shelf in my house that we no longer have room for I'm giving my cousin a ton of decor that I'm getting rid of she just moved here from oh my god I'm covered in my Jersey Mike sub <laughs> she just moved here she's from LA but just moved here from New York City where she went to college so yeah, then I returned a bunch of Zara items that I tried on for you guys today that will be on my try on haul. I shipped some shoes that some people bought from me. What else did I do? Returned $300 worth of Sephora makeup. Crazy. I had so much stuff that I purchased during the Sephora sale and then right before quarantine hit and they weren't doing any returns um, like online. You had to do it in person. So that kind of took a while. But yeah, that was nice to get that money back and get those products out of my filming room so i'm just waiting for my girl to text me and then we're gonna go inside i feel like after i leave this appointment this is gonna be it my forehead's not moving anymore my hair is lighter my nails and toes will be done i'm starting to get a tan i'm back bitch I really sat here two hours ago and was like, oh, I'm gonna keep it so natural. Bitch, that is not natural. What? What? I walked in and I saw my friend Shelly and she was like, girl, I got a set. Like, I was not messing around. I'm like, you know what? It's been pretty, like four months. Next week would have been four months. I'm like, I'm throwing claws on. I'm gonna be clickety clacketing all over my phone, all over the place, snapping away. I, I'm in love. So we are getting ready to go pick my sister up from Boston. We had such a nice date night. We went and had Chipotle um, at the beach. Then we got ice cream. And my friend Kendall stopped by with flowers. Look how nice. She just got home from Hawaii and she stopped by with them. You need to calm down. So yeah, we had a really, really nice Friday evening and now I'm gonna go pick up my sister. I'm so happy. My sister is literally my best friend in the entire world. Like ride or die for forever, ever, ever. Come see mommy. Oh, what a nice girl. You're so sweet. Good morning. Picked up Emily last night. With my mom too right now. We're heading to the beach. Hopefully we get in. Everything's crazy. It's like half capacity. One, what is it? One car per, one car per household can go. So yeah, so it's 1030. We're gonna try and make it in. But yep, finally with Emily. So this will be the start of our vacation this week. Our staycation in Massachusetts. We had the beach still. You say hi. This is a video. Backyard. 
And I'm Say like, hi, everyone. He said, we can social distance. Just put 10 people at a table. And then I said, and then Do you want to say, have a good day? Have a good day. Love, Love you. you. No. Love you. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everyone. I am currently, well, I'm a hot mess right now, but getting ready to head to Boston for the day. I will keep that in next week's vlog. I just wanted to hop on and give you a skin update since I talked about it so much in the beginning of the week. Obviously you saw how bad it was. I'll insert a photo so that you can reference it. Everything has gone down tremendously. I did already apply my skincare for today and I am using a new sunscreen that I'm absolutely loving that I wanna show you guys. This was sent to me by Tula Skincare, um, not sponsored or asking me to promote it at all, but I applied this and my skin is just glowing so much. I've had extremely dry skin from trying to attack my acne and this has been helping a ton. No sunburn, sunscreen is so important underneath your moisturizer, underneath your makeup. So highly recommend. I will leave this link in the description box, but yeah, skin is looking amazing. So I hope you guys had a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.